as the show continues on, it's time for another Coach's Conversation brought to you by the Conklin team here in the Saw Room. How are you doing, Coach? Good. You? Good. Thanks. Big win uh, over Black Hills this past week. Senior night. Lots of excitement there. Tough test this upcoming week as uh, you travel to Highline, and they're one of the best teams in the state. What are you looking for as you head up there? Well, first, let's go back to last Friday night. Please. Last Friday night. You know, you had senior night with the seniors. It's always good to get a victory, you know, on senior night because that's the last home game. Yeah. So the last time they're leaving Jack Stark Field, is they're leaving a victory, uh -huh. right, behind. Um, and then it, it was also youth football night for us. So we had approximately 60 of our junior climbers here, um, and it was fun to have them. They got to come in the locker room and see that and be part of the game, you know, you know, get on, get introduced at halftime and get honored. And they're in their playoff season right now for, uh, you know, the, in the TCYFL Football League. So, you know, good, wholesome community night uh, that ended on the right side of things. Thought our kids played uh, really well. Um, and we were still shorthanded. We still had some adversity, but our kids overcame that. And, uh, you know, they're building character. And, you know, one of my messages to the seniors on senior night when their parents were in the meeting room with us before the game for the pregame talk is, you know, they're going to turn in their red jersey, but they're not going to turn in these life lessons learned. They're not turning in this climber football family, once a climber, always a climber. They're not turning in their loved ones that were in that room with them that night. They're going to be with them, you know, through their journey for as long as they possibly can. So, Did they leave anything on the field at, at triple, at zeros? Did they leave their cleats on the field? Or is there anything like you, that? I've you, seen those in the past. You know, in different places I've been, different senior classes have done different things. And I don't know when this tradition started, but it started last year, and I can't remember if Coach Speak started it, Coach Stark started it, Coach Hinkle started it. I started last year. I can't remember. I, don't, I have no idea. But the underclassmen carry the seniors off the field. Oh, okay. After we meet with them. Okay. So, you know, that, that was kind of cool. You didn't yeah. do that when you played. I don't remember. I've been hitting the head too many ah. times. So <laughs> I, I, I don't remember. But, uh, you know, I've had other, been in other places where they do a senior walk where they all lock arms and they walk the field. One, and every five yards, each senior talks about something, you know, just amongst the seniors. You know, they lock arms and walk the whole length of the field until every senior's gotten a chance to talk. Um, people have dug holes and buried stuff, you know. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it, it was just a good night, you know, a lot of pictures, a lot of photo ops after the game, and uh, a good feeling. How so. many of those kids, the youth kids, come up to you or to a coach and say, I can't wait to be a high climber? You, you know, it, it's pretty surreal with that, you know, more than, more than I th you know, think. You know, they're sitting there making the tunnel, and I'm coming off at halftime, and everyone was like, coach, 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 and they're fist bumping uh -huh. me, you know, and, and, and tapping up our kids and our other coaches, and, you know. It was neat having them in that locker room before the game. We broke down with them in our breakdown, you know, in the middle. We're all around them, you know, uh -huh. all that kind of stuff. So it was cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tough test, as I mentioned, this week on the road. And it's kind of a drive, too. So how do you keep the kids motivated uh, and focused on this upcoming match Friday? And then what do you do on those long travels to get to the opposing team? Yeah, so we got Highline. Highline is 6-1 uh, and one on the season. Yeah. They're the highest scoring team in 2A. They're averaging 47 points a game. Uh, their only loss is the Mercer Island. They have a lot of speed, um, a lot of athleticism. And uh, so it's going to be a great, great challenge for us. Um, they're a spread offensive team. That kind of alludes to us a little bit better than some of these other style teams that we ha we've been playing, you know. Um, so, you know, obviously we're going to have to play really, really good. Um, as far as the travel and going on the road, you know, we have a saying called road warriors, right? And we have a road warrior mentality. We're going on a business trip. Um, you know, our kids are going to be comfortable on the way up. We don't put them in their pants and their cleats and all taped up for, you know, two hours yeah. up there and stuff like that. They'll be comfortable on the way up. They'll be in their travel suits and, uh, you know, um, they'll bring whatever they bring, whether it be their headphones or their phones. You know, they, nowadays if a kid has a phone, he's got all he needs to be sure. comfortable, sure. right, in today's world, unfortunately. And you know, so, uh, Are they looking at... at 
plays? Are they talking with each other about if this happens, then remember this, or remember what coach said this week in practice about that, or is it, is it kind of their, their time to focus mentally, prepare for them to do their job that they've been tasked to do? I think each one of them is doing their own, own deal. Yeah. I don't think there's any uh, standard that uh, everybody's doing. You know, I think it's everybody's got to get themselves mentally prepared. At that point, the hay's in the barn. Right, when we get on that bus, I mean, it's, it's about going and enjoying the fruits of our labor, yeah. right, from the week. So, you know, they might have their scattering ports with them. They might be able to get on huddle and watch a few plays on their phones, you know, and things like that. But for the most part, just relax, stay calm, get your minds right. When you get out that bus, it's time to get ready to go play. The game is Friday at seven at High Line. It'd be great for you to travel and cheer on the high climbers if you can. The game also on Mason Web TV with Diedrich Allen and Jerry Apple with the calls here in the saw shop with Coach Smith for another Coach's Corner brought to you by the Conklin theme. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you.